I'm level 43. All traders are maxed out. I'm looking to do labs main. I already have black and green key card. What I need is a red, blue and violet key card. So I decided to only play shoreline until I do. Let me take you to my best shoreline raid so far. It's full of chads and that juicy loot. I got a good spawn and reached to the east wing first. On arriving, I heard a big group coming. So this is what I did. Oh, dude, I just destroyed them. I cleared the area in case there is a fourth and then started to take a look at the goodies. This was a rich group. Everyone was using an RD704 with BP ammo. I took out all the ammo and kept it in my safe container. I still do not have good supply of BP ammo because I haven't completed the Grenadier quest. Since I was heavy and good on loot, I decided only to check the important rooms such as the 211 for Red Geek card. When I reached room 310 of the east wing, this happened. What the fuck is going on dude? Why are there so many PMCs? On my usual shoreline run, I never run into so many PMCs. This was another group who was using the RD704. I don't know why everyone this raid was using an RD. But good for me as I got abundant supply of BP ammo from this raid. After looting all of them, I was almost 70 kgs and the loot looked like this. I ditched the plan to hit the west wing as I was too heavy and didn't want to risk it and safely extract it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's go. Finding key cards in this game is no joke. You have to grind the hell out of the game because they are so rare. This grind has made me so confident that I can relax and drink juice even when a 4 man team is hungry to kill me. This is a room 205 and 204 of the west wing. The right door is still locked and needs a key. I'm confident if someone uses a key, I can shoot him down through the door. I only have to focus on the left door.
Once I heard the surgery sound, I knew it. This was my only chance. <laughs> Let's fucking go. A little bit of trash talk as they were trying to corner me down. Anyways, GG's cause they did put up a good fight. Again, I just went for the important key card spawns before I made my way for the extract. Exit located. Whenever I get a far spawn from the resort, I always use a SJ6 stem. And when I get a close spawn, I just run for it. This kind of balances my expenditure on the stamina stems. You have to reach resort as quickly as possible. Because if the important rooms are looted, the juicy loot is gone in the safe containers and you can never grab it. This next raid, an airdrop came in the middle of the resort and made the game entirely unique. No one dared to touch it, but everyone was ready to defend it. When I heard the metal sound, I only thought of the metal stairs from outside going to the rooftop. It made sense as it is the best spot to defend the drop from. So I decided to push them from behind, hoping they won't hear my footsteps coming. That's a good night. I want you to listen to the footsteps very carefully. Because these little footsteps are the hints that decide how you should play it. I don't know if you can notice this or not, but my adrenaline level spiked. I was scared a lot, cause I had no clue this would be a 3 man team. I kind of blew the whole game here, but good for me, the last one was still a big night.
it took a while to loot everything min maxing the values of items but we extracted with some amazing juice ggs did you think it would be so easy to find the red and blue key card well think again already 50 plus raids on shoreline we had no luck hopefully in the next week's video we will find one but we are not giving up until we do i'll see you in the next one guys if you're struggling to make money in taco our last video will definitely help you out do check it out and don't forget to hit the like and sub button and help us reach 30k subscribers